Before it was the old blue anchored public house you can see from the second picture from the 1880s it was just called the blue anchor. You can see from this picture number 124, 125, 126, which were knocked down to make way for the new town hall which never got built because of the cost but the council decided this after they knocked them down. In 1865 the shop is recorded as the High Street Post Office with Thomas Pratt as postmaster, but by 1932 Kelly's directory the shop has changed its use to Wrens Limited whose main business was as a saddler's but by the 1940s the shop had changed its business to a sports shop. In the 1950s the shop had become Farrow's who specialized in house furnishings but by the 1960s it had become Kirby and Knights, soft furnishings, upholsterers and carpet specialists. The third picture was taken in 1998 and there is very little difference between them as the second picture in 2016. Number 149 was once the site of the Crown and Anchor Public House Hotel but by 1932 when it appears in the Kelly's directory the building had become Herbert Stebbings and Sons Limited, Wine and Spirit Merchants. The second picture taken in 1998 shows the building being the antique and carpenter's shop but roll on two years to the picture on the right and it has become Pyramid, the Egyptian shop.
soon after the picture was taken the west side of the street was demolished for street widening and the bakery became the Anchor Hotel. If you can find a copy, the local author Ivan Bunn has a book called Haunted Lowestoft which details all the ghost sightings around town and includes this story. In 1865 number 162 was the premises of Bowing and Rounds, shipping and commission agents, insurance brokers and general merchants. Around the 1880s the shop became a grocer's, run by Mr. C. E. Nobbs but by the 1950s Gaskins the high-class fruiters and greengrocers had opened up a second location as well as number 35 number 36 in number 162. Number 170 in the above picture is the one which has a fire escape above the ground floor. Today it is the entrance to the present day vets in the high street. In 1932 Mr. William Mills had a shop as his grocers, but by 1940 the shop had switched to a naval tailors run by Mr. Billy Cooper. Soon after the tailors the building was occupied by Mothram's Cafe. But by 1958 Dobson Fisheries next door purchased the shop with a view to knock through and make their shop bigger. During the 